Welcome viewers to Master Park in Oxted where we've got a game of football with some cricket in front of it. Um, Sarnestead have uh, lost the toss and are batting. It's a 40 over a side game. Jake Scarisbrick and Tyler Ward are opening the batting and uh, Jake's off the mark. That's a loud appeal, but uh, I don't think Jake is anywhere near that. Shot, Jakey. Yeah. Run nice, it hard, Jakey. Nice late cut there from Jake. It's a beautiful day here. The, uh, the sun's out. It's not too hot. A little bit of a breeze. Perfect day for uh, cricket. This is the Fullers and uh, AJ Fordham Surrey Championship Challenge Cup or something like that. Shot, Jakey! Double up! Jake's played on the leg side. In front of square. Fabulous. So, um, today's question, I've got John here. What's your favourite car, mate, if you could choose anything? I, I, I'm a big fan of the Porsche 911. Porsche 911. Yeah, big fan of that, but my new car, I, I do really love my new Ford Puma. Unreal. Ford Puma? Yeah. Very good, nice very good. Sporty number. Excellent. Baby Cougar. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Cougar. We'll have a look at that one later. <laughs> so, oh, and that's uh, a snick. First slip. No problem. Jake's gone. Um, so, Jack, what's your favourite car, mate? If you could choose anything in the world. I don't know why I'd get rid of my beast. A uh, Hyundai i20. A Hyundai i20. Very yeah, good. 110,000 miles in it. Excellent. Just Excellent. So that's got more emotional value than than uh, than the sort of typical oh, things prices. that people might yeah, buy cars with. Brilliant. Very good. Well, thank you. <laughs> that's a loose ball. Time makes no mistake there. Should go up the hill there. Pick up a couple there. Bit of team news. Largely unchanged team today. Uh, Chris Bowman not playing today. Um, and uh, Josh Stacey comes back into the side, otherwise I'm pretty sure it's fairly unchanged from last week. Yeah, quite a bit of regularity amongst the players this season, it's good, good to see. Oh, and Tyler drives on through the slips, that would have been, uh, yeah, out quite, uh, quite a few times, but there you go, four runs, that's cricket. Oh, and that one really flew off a length. Well, um, this is going to be an interesting game. Well, it's the seventh over now, it's 36 for one. And uh, he doesn't think he's hit it, but no, he, uh, well, whatever. That's out. I think he probably did know he hit it. Um, oh, I got that score completely wrong, viewers. Um, it's 49 for two, and this is the tenth over. Um, yeah, a little bit... Uh, a little bit put off by the fact that the camera stopped working, which which wouldn't be good at all. Oh, he's bowling. I like a good one. Mm -hmm. He's just going away a little bit. Yeah, bowling well. Oh, is he, he's taking... That's not bad, George. See that? See that? Swing and a miss. So I've got tea with me. Tea, um... So what sort of car you rocked up in today, mate? Uh, Play my bill. <laughs> just picked up a Caterham 360R. Yeah? Is mm. that good? It's pretty quick, yeah. Excellent. Well, it equates to 360 horsepower per ton. My God! Not wow. to 60 in about four and a half, a little bit more. Blimey, blimey. Well, we'll we'll be showing a picture of it right now. It's my birthday, Dan. So oh, happy birthday, happy mate! 20, yeah. 25th, that is. 25th, blimey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you don't look that old, mate. <laughs> so, T, um, if you, uh, you know, no constraints, what would be the car you'd have? That's a tough question, Dan. Cause I'm really into my cars. Um, do love a Ferrari F12. Uh huh. Um, I just yeah, think that's good. Yeah. Drives well. Yeah, they're quite nice. I've got, yeah. I've got, I've got, I've got one of those. Yeah, V12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Naturally aspirated. It's good. Of course. But there, there are some good hybrid cars I like as well. But let's stick with that one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's a lovely oh, shot. Oh. Lovely shot from Joe. Nicely guided through. Let's. Uh, Let's be generous. And gets four runs for it. Fabulous. And over the top from George. Only a matter of time, I think. And it just shows you how slow the outfield is. Just crept over. 
Well, that was a bit of a long off, and John makes no mistake there. Oh, nicely fielded in the deep there, lovely. A bit like us, a broken scoreboard. Um, but 64 for 2 off 15, that's not bad going in these conditions. And lovely background with the North Downs there, and that's a glorious shot for George. Four runs all the way. But umbrella's going up, a few spots of rain, but I've got Lucy with me. Lucy, you're going to be driving in a year's time, and uh, yeah. oh my word, that's a, a tremendous little catch. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, if you could choose anything, what would you drive? Um, I don't really know. I'm not really a car person, so anything you can afford to get me, really. Brilliant. You're on the bus. Josh Stacey in at five. Josh missed last week, but uh, he's off the mark straight away. A useful player with bat and ball. And there's another one, George. Yeah, and that's uh, straight back at him. Caught and bowled. Probably not really much need to do that, but hey-ho. So 78 for four off 20 overs. I think 160, 170 will be a very good score on this track. Let's see. Jack Cole's brother of John in at six. A wise leave. So, Jake Scaz, um, what was, what's your favourite car, mate? Or what, you know, if you had no constraints, what would you have? Uh, matte black Range Rover. Nice. Very so, nice. A lot of the yummy mummies have it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you a yummy mummy? No, but if I'm driving one, then they probably like it. <laughs> I'm sure. So, um, what do you drive at the moment, mate? Uh, Toyota iGo. Nice. Smaller, small little go kart, but it does the job. Gets Excellent. me from A to B. Yeah, and the yummy mummies, do they like that one? They absolutely love it. <laughs> I bet they do, especially with you in it. <laughs> exactly. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, he's only joking, viewers. Yeah, I'm only joking. <laughs> so, Jake, we've got about, what, 80 odd uh, at the halfway stage, four down. What, what, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? We've got to look for 150, 160. I reckon that's probably par. It's very yeah, slow. I think, so. and, uh, I think some of our bowlers will bowl well on this. Well, I hope so. It does look to me as if it is just slightly drying out and maybe. Yeah, I mean, quickening up a bit, getting easy to bat on. I don't know. Have been quite handy, but they have to have stopped then. Yeah, yeah. So a few runs off the bat. See, uh, Lockie's going in next. Hopefully, he tees off. Who's oh, Lockie in next? Yeah, he's in next. Oh, brilliant! We have some jellycopter. Yeah, yeah, well, I hope he uh, sticks around yeah, for a bit. Yeah, one fifty. I'm saying. Probably yeah, cool. yeah. I think I think uh, that would make it make it a good game because they've got no um, no Simon Jackson this year, who I think averaged no. about 180 against us yeah. the last two seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality player, gone to Middlesex, I think. Don't blame him. I don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, Jack is uh, unleashing. That was nice. Nearly a goal. Well fielded there. Oh, long chase. Here. They're going to get three here. I would have thought quite easily. Change of bowling now, a bit of what? A bit of leg spin. It's a little bit short, and Jack ah, puts it where it's supposed to go. Well, that would have brought the 100 up. And, uh, oh, another short ball, and that's gone in the same place, I think. Bit of a chase, but all in vain. And uh, in true leg spinner style, another Fairly short ball, batsman's eyes lit up, and easy catch there, that's five down. Jack Dinning comes in at seven, he's had a quiet season, he's always had to come in with a, just, a, just three or four overs to go and hasn't had time to settle in, but he's got 16 overs here today, so fingers crossed. Nice. Nice sweep from Jacko, and that's... Uh, yeah, four runs all the way. Oh, I finally made it over to the uh, the football end. See this leggy? He's uh, yeah, quite tidy, getting a bit of turn and bounce anyway. Well, if, you just, if you just look above the umpire's head there, you can see Tyler's Caterham. Jacko moves that away just for one. Ah, well hit there from Jack. Super stuff. Jake putting the ball back as he should do with his feet. 115 for five. There's 
Just under 12 overs left. That's nicely chipped out there. Could be two here. Certainly should be two. And it is. Back in sunshine now. Oh, what a, what a delivery. Nice shot. So Black Knight Bat's one of our sponsors, put together by Johnny and Bob Locke. Had a few new customers, and some of whom might, might be known. So Luke Nalon, who's uh, one of our longest fans, actually, from Skull CC in the Bradford League, he's bought one. Apparently borrowed a Black Knight Bat and got a big ton, and then immediately ordered one. So uh, they clearly work. Luke, um, good luck with it. Hope it scores you many more. Swing and a miss there from George. And they've got customers from Hollywood too. A chap called Henry Douthwaite, who's, uh, who's an actor. There's a lot of sort of action and horror movies. Um, also plays cricket uh, for the stage CC. He's got a Black Knight Bats. And Mariana Graham, who's from Outwood CC Ladies. Um, and Outwood we're playing tomorrow. So look out for that. I don't know if Mariana's playing. I hope she is. And if she is, then bring your Black Knight Bat. George definitely looking to move things along. And why not? Oh, don't often see George play that shot. I have to have a word with him about that. Ah, that's well hit from Jack. It's gone all the way. That's a nice hit. And that'll be another two. Into the 130s now. Seven and a half overs left. Ah, and that's a nice, easy catch. George chipping it on the onside, needing to get on with it. Fair enough. Um, six down now. Talking to Black Knight Bats, here's Johnny. Ah, he's uh, not in the mood for hanging around. Uh, seven overs left. That's hit quite fine. And four. Leggy continues, 139, six overs left, and you can see how windy it is here with these trees. And that was um, just chipped straight back at him. Easy catch, and that's seven down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like it. Oh, get a couple here. So, Josh, Josh Stacy with me now. Josh, um, I'm asking all the guys this. Money now, object. What car would you have? Uh, uh, I, do you know, yeah, I've always just wanted a Golf, to be honest with you. Whether it's like a Mark 1 or a new one, I don't mind. Like, if I had something too good, I'd be scared to leave the house and leave it there. So, money no object, what, well, it's got a big briefcase of cash in the back as well, isn't uh, it? Yeah, I mean, all right, in, in that case, I'll have uh, I'll have Tyler's catering that's still behind us. Ah, uh, very good, case. very good. When you say Tyler's catering? Yeah, Tyler's rented catering. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, very good, thank you. Last four overs, 145. It's hit that well, but well placed field, it's just the one. Well dug out there, Johnny, that one was a bit subterranean. Yeah, there's lots of, lots of stuff in this track. Just try a bit of football commentary whilst we're waiting, so. Funny old sport. Anyway, what do we got? Bloke kicks the ball, goes to another bloke who misses it. Another bloke kicks the ball to another bloke who kicks the ball to another bloke. I mean, God, how much fun is it? Anyway, see what Johnny can do. Yeah, nice bit of jellycopter action there from Johnny. Definitely going to get two here. He might even think about a third. Probably not. So 156 for seven, final over. And that's out. Neat work from the keeper. He's been uh, been impressive all day, really. Looks very talented. Ah, Tom Battams has the unenviable task of getting what he can off the last five balls. And looks like he's away with a two. Oh, could have been. 
Oh, and Johnny's bold, going for the uh, big old wipe. Tom Coulson, left arm over bowler. Not sure we've got a batsman, but that's a lovely shot. Lovely shot. I think he's so surprised we've only gone for the single. That's a good shot. Now they will get two for this one. Surely they get two for this one. And that's it. I think it's I think it's 159, but we'll find out. And there's now going to be a best part of 160 to win from up for Oxted from 40 overs and Simon Carter's opening up and he's uh, he's going to try and bowl boring, as all the bowlers should do today. Line and length should uh, should make this very, very tricky. Well, Simon will uh, he'll come in off a couple of paces, find a length, swing it both ways, and the ball. Tom Coulson opening. <laughs> Two left handers opening for Oxford. That's Joe Murta facing and Jack Lloyd, non striker. <laughs> yeah, loose one there from Simon, a little bit short and put away in fine style there. Ooh. Well done, Simon, that's superb. <laughs> Ooh, bowling. Oh, that's a thick edge. Jack goes after it. Oh, and another edge. That's gone as well. That's hit away, and it's uh, slightly expensive over this one. There's been a couple of wides, one of them going for four. A couple of twos. That's been not really having to work yet. That's a lovely shot. Straight drive. Beautiful. Oh, well. Well, 41 for none off eight, and Longcock comes into the attack. Uh, a few wides and some decent shots from the batsman. Solomon said, really do need a wicket to try and slow this, slow this run rate down. Or at least put some pressure on. Oxford batsman just having it a little easy. The track certainly looks a little easier to bat on than it did. Bowler limited to eight overs. And that's gone. Uh, well done, Johnny. A change works. Nice bit of flight. Good stuff. Well done. That's 41 for one. It's the ninth over. Ooh, that must have been close. Change bowling. Tom Battens comes on. Ooh, and uh, immediately driven through extra cover. Probably won't go. Size after it. Long old chase for Simon. That's all he wants after a little bowling spell. Ooh, we'll bowl. 48 for one off 10. Sarnas, they just need to find a way to apply the squeeze a little. Big old moon ball there from Johnny. Trusty boot comes in. Couple of runs. Well, ball, that's a better over, just a couple from it. Full toss from Longcock. Punished as it should have been. Oh, we're bold. Well, the wind continues, as does Longcock. That scores a couple of couple of overs behind. There we go. Run rate just slightly being pegged back now. Oh, and that's a loose one. This is what happens, you see. They bowl well and then just put in a loose one. Four up. Nice flight.
Oh, that's well bowled. And again. Oh, it's gone through. Good bit of work there from Jake. Three runs though. Oh, that's an excellent leave. My word. Okay, a little rest for Longcock and replaced by Josh Stacey, who is uh, probably this season our most consistent bowler. Need a good tight spell from him. A couple of wickets to be handy too. Oh, Jacko, good work. Bowling. That's good. Bowling. Oh, and that's wide, sliced away, four runs. Bold. Quick look at the score. Um, we see that just after the halfway stage, Oxted are up with a run rate, pretty much. Only one wicket down. Salderstead need a couple of wickets. They really do here. If, uh, if we're going to make this close. Oof. Well, desperate times in desperate measures and Jacko's coming on with side strain and um, yeah loose ball but uh, just the one run straight down to Jacob deep fine and that's a short ball given the treatment four runs I think we know Joe Mertz is pretty good at playing the short ball. Good player, actually. And uh, the full one, there we go. Quite right, too. And um, Joe Mertz plays on. That's good stuff. That's two wickets down. That was desperately needed by Sandersted. Um, yeah, probably need a couple more, actually, to make it tight. It's good stuff. Oh, that's well bowled. Bit of turn and bounce there. Come on, let's start putting it in the right areas and... Who knows what'll happen? Good bowling. Ah, that's a great over. Great over. Oh, and that's uh, a direct hit runner. Absolutely magnificent stuff there from uh, Jack Dinning. Superb. And, um, well, the pendulum is just slightly turning. Um, fantastic, fantastic bit of bit of cricket there, super stuff. It's 90 for three, it's the uh, 25th over. Josh Stacey, keeping it quiet from one end. New batsman in, pressure being applied just slightly. Bold. Not out. We're very good today, the umpires. Very good. Oh, and that's a rare loose one from Josh. Oh, and there's a reverse, and Jake's Garrisbrick, no problem at all. That's now four down. What a strange shot. Um, well, game on. Well, Oxted here, straining for every run now. Ah, but that's a, that's a good shot. Slightly over pitch, beautifully, beautifully hit. Moved his feet nicely there. That's eased the pressure a little. Uh, 56 needed, off 11. Ooh, that's beautifully hit, beautifully hit. Gotta pitch the ball up. Ooh, another short one. Just the one. No, they're coming up for two. Get it easily. Ah, that's a lovely hit. 
straight over the top, a couple of bounces for. Oh, oh my god. And that's another one. Well, that was a huge over there, 15 coming from it. Um, excellent play from, from this lad batting. 40 to win off 10 now, six wickets in hand. So realistically, Sander said have got to get a couple of wickets to uh, try and get that pendulum swinging back. It's gone all the way back to Oxted now. Amazing what difference one over can make. But it's a funny old game. Ooh, full toss, that's a big hit. Four. Yeah, nicely picked up, just the one. Oh no! It, uh, took a bit of a jump and gave him a second. Tom Coulson back on. Good start. Well, the problem facing Sarnesid now is that uh, this ground is just too big to defend, really. Um, four and over is, is going to be quite easy. Um, the batsman will probably be content to nudge it around and hit the ball that's there to be hit. Oh. I think this is Josh's eighth and final over. Ooh. Oh, and that's a great catch. A great catch, Tom Battam's there. That's uh, well. He's still there. Pendulum is still still swinging about. Who knows what's going to happen here? Astonishing. Well, batted, sir. Gave it a go. Give it a bit of impetus. That's what was needed for Oxted. Ooh, that's got to be close. And he's given him. And that is uh, six down now. This really is well. The pendulum is swinging all over the place. Wow, wow, wow. We're in for an absolute thriller here. Oh, Josh Stacey, week in, week out. He's uh, becoming the go-to. And that looks um, close. And it is. It's gone. Well, that is, um, yeah, wow. Incredible. That's three wickets in this over. Seven down. It's, um, wow. Wow. Astonishing scenes here. Score still one to six, but now for seven. Josh almost expecting a wicket every ball now. What an amazing over. Three wicket maybe. Wow. Tom Coulson picks up the mantle. It's a good hit. Thinking about two, but. Just the one. Tense. Ooh. It's just going to be one. You don't go two to Jacko. Long cock back. Josh has finished his spell. Well, it's all happening here. Lock his first ball. They had six fielders on the leg side, which is... Uh, not allowed in this league, so uh, that was a no ball. Bowls it again, gets another dot. Something like 30 needed off uh, five overs and whatever's left in this one. Three wickets to go. Warren Lockie. His flight's gone. Gone out of the window and he's just bowling darts now. And why not? Ah, and that's found a gap. It's going to be two. That's all. Uh, Johnny's got four men on the leg side boundary. Just float one up, Johnny. Tempt him. It's a long way. Go on. Float one up. Float one up. Ooh. ooh. Another dart. 28 off five. They're going to push two here. 
Johnny gets to it quickly and yes, good fielding. Oof, oof, oof. Great running lads! Yeah. Oh, we're bold again. Good pace variation here from Tom. That's a nice shot. Cleaned up out there. Super. Dog taking his owner for a walk. Pretty tense here. Uh, should just be one, they might come back and try it. Yeah, they have done. Yeah, good two. Well, long cock now, 22 off four overs and just threshed into the onside for for no run. Oh, and that's got to be out. And it is. That's now eight down. Um, looked like it might be a wide at one point, but uh, yeah, don't know what to say really. What a thriller. Going right down to the wire, this one. Oh, there's no one there between square leg and, uh, and Johnny, saving one. You've got to figure a bit of tip and run would be in order. Did well to get away with that. That looked uh, right on the line. Good over from Johnny. 20 to win, three overs left. Someone's going to have a little swing at some point. Uh, we could get two here. Good one-handed pickup, but... Yeah, big spaces here. Easy to. Oh, and that's out. Top and middle of stump, huge cross batted white there. Nine down. Well, the pendulum swung right back, Sander says, where it's gone very quiet behind me where the Oxted guys are sitting. Um, yeah. They had this in the bag at one point. That's the old tip and run, but a bit hesitant. They get there. 17 to win. That's gone over the infield. Oh no, it hasn't. It's an absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing one-handed catch from Simon, but apparently it's a no ball. Quite sure why, but uh, someone outside the circle. Anyway. Uh, only three in the ring, I think. So that's a no ball. So uh, we we plow on. What drama! Well, everyone's had a good laugh about it, and uh, back we go. Requisite number of people inside the circle. It's a dot. Yeah, another full straight. It's good bowling this from Tom. That's two overs left, 15 to win. So after that little noble scare and uh, everyone counts up, there's four inside the circle. And whoo, 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 the batsman I think does the right thing there. And, Tries to scoop it, fine. Run it, mate. Run. Run back, come back. That's a good hit. They'll get two here. 13 off 10. Oh, wide. Not cool. Must have been just inside the line. 13 off 9. Oh. 13 off 8. That's gone over the top. And it's four runs. So that I think is nine now needed off seven. Don't go anywhere. Oh, just go the single here. So it's going to be eight off the last over. Well, Tom Battams is coming on to bowl this last over. Uh, Captain and bowler taking a long time setting the field, and why not? What have we got here? We've got 
Johnny's coming out to Long On. George at Deep Moo. Um, no one at Deep Square. A square leg. Fine leg, they're both in the circle. Um, we've got a deep, a deep cover. A long off near me. And then a couple just behind cover and Simon is probably gonna Simon's gonna slot in there extra. Here we go, eight to win for Oxted. And that's a swing and a miss. Oh, he's gone for the scoop and he's got it. He's got over. Just for two. Oh, that's a wide. Five or four. Pressure, pressure. Oh, that's another wide. Four or four. And they're going to run an extra one. Just a lack of concentration here. Three or four. Well, apparently it's a dead ball, which uh, I think means it's still four needed off four. Oh, and that's got to be stopped. And Jake stops it. That's, uh, that does make it interesting. Three off three. Lots of field changes, still three off three. And that's, um, oh, he's got to get this now. And he does, and that's out. And that's, um, well, well, well. What a way to finish a game, what a game. Relatively low scoring thriller. Sander said had all but lost it, then won it, and then all but lost it again, and finally won it. Well, that's, uh, that's the magic of cricket. What a fantastic, what a fantastic game. Played in very good spirit here at lovely Oxted, Master Park. Um, yeah, I think it's time for a beer, actually. Well, good try there. And the Oxted lads, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, triple wicket maiden from Josh. Good bowling from Johnny. So I Tom Batten to be in there. Good, good stuff. Some brilliant work by the umpires. They did a fabulous job. At the end, quite tricky circumstances. Here we go. Here's Tyler and Jezza. Dad, just, just slightly squeezed in there, Jezza. You all right there, mate? Can you fit? <laughs> Love it. Happy birthday, son. Here's a car for four days. <laughs>